Hello, what we're going to do now is to carry on with the owl. I would probably do the body first, but just for the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to just concentrate on the, the wing and show you how I wrap the wing. So get some carded wool and tease it out so you've got a thin sheet. Yeah, as thin a sheet as possible. You can split this like, there we go, like that. So you've got a nice um, thin sheet. And then you just simply wrap it around the wing. And then fill it into place. and a bit more for the end of the wing so you use as little as you need as possible to start with because you can always add more but it's a difficult job to take it away once you've got it on so I'm using two needles here just basically be careful with the wire, don't hit the wire or you'll lose the needle. Now the wool has extended beyond the wire, which is on purpose. I need a little bit more wool around the centre, it's coming a bit, it's a bit thin there. So you can see it's a bit thin in that part there. So add a little bit more wool. Now, it's just a case of a lot of felting now. Now this can take an hour. It's a long process to get this fair. You always got a little bit of farm yard. We got a triple needle now. These are very fine needles, probably forties. And it's just a case of felting it all over around the edges. And then the edges, turn them over where you've rolled it over with your finger. Like that. And you'll get a quite a nice And then keep, turn it over and you, it's a very short stabbing movement because you don't want to go through, too far through because otherwise you'll fasten a wing to whatever you're felting on the, in this case the foam pad and all you do is push a lot of hairs right through a lot of fibres right through the wing so you end up with a hairy wing so you're just really going into it And not making sure you don't go through the and out the other side of the wing. Now, for the purpose of the demonstration, what I'm going to do is just comes. This takes a long time, so I'm just going to concentrate on the tip of the wing to get to it for the purpose of the demonstration, otherwise you're going to be watching me all day because this will take about an hour for each wing and you want to get this 
shape comes not pointed owl wings are tend to be fairly broad and blunt ended so Carry on until you think you felt it enough, then carry on felting for another half hour. You really want to get this the edge fairly solidly felted. Now, you can see, now that's coming on, it needs a lot more felting, but you can see it's quite thin. It needs a lot more felting to make it perfect, but when getting there, and of course you've got to do it all the way up the wing. Now, to create feathers, just use your, get your scissors. This is why you need to be really well felted. And cut into it so round off the edges ends and why this is why you leave wool over the edge of the end uh, of the armature so you And of course you're cutting in towards that direction because that's the joint the joint wing joint is there and all these feathers will radiate to that point not up to here up to this point here so the direction of cut is always in that direction yeah up there And see what I'm doing here. Rounding off. Let's 
So that's basically it and you can carry on all the way around and then you can kind of colour in with a, a Copic marker or felt, felt colour on as you need to. So that's basically the wing. You can add more as you wish, cut it a bit deeper, give it longer wings, but don't do it too much. Or you end up looking more like a buzzard. So there's your wing, that's it, and you carry on felting all the way along till it is. You don't want to be too thick, otherwise it won't look right. So you want to keep it fairly thin, but felt it, felt it, felt it. Keep on felting it. You can't felt it too much. Okay, thank you for watching.